mysterious disappearance of infant finally solved after 32 years Australia is one of the most naturally beautiful places in the entire world its climate topography and wildlife are unlike any others found anywhere on earth however it can also be uncommonly dangerous and its wide array of poisonous and aggressive creatures are responsible for thousands of deaths annually Azaria was born on July 11 1980 she died on August 17 1980 the death of a two-month-old baby is undoubtedly a tragedy there's no denying that yet perhaps even more tragic is the years of pain and uncertainty that followed her untimely demise little Azaria and her parents Lindy and Michael were vacationing near Uluru in the Australian Northern Territory also known as Ayers Rock this immense sandstone formation is sacred to Australia's Aboriginal people and is among the most impressive rock formations on earth her parents had driven out to Ayers Rock to experience the natural splendor of the region and take their first albeit small trip as a new family Lindy and Michael got milkshakes before they left and drove out into the desert with their newborn nestled in the back seat never knowing the horror that was about to befall them the parents parked their car near the rock and set up their campsite they were only away from Azaria for a few moments but when they turned around Azaria was no longer in their tent someone or something had ripped her from the safety of the tent and taken her they were convinced that a dingo an Australian wild dog had broken into the tent and snatched the baby unfortunately Lindy and Michael Chamberlain had no way of proving that the attack had occurred the authorities were contacted and began combing the area for any sign of the infant unfortunately they never located it all they had to go on were Chamberlain's reports and the assumption that a dingo had snatched up the baby of course there was also the chance that the baby was killed and buried somewhere in the desert by someone else in the absence of any hard evidence the initial coroner reported that the likely cause of death was a dingo attack this however only worked if police believed the Chamberlain story a dingo may have stolen the baby but this did not prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that the dingo was the actual cause of death the Northern Territory police and prosecutors were dissatisfied with this finding however and urged the investigation to continue ultraviolet photos of the baby's jumpsuit as well as a small amount of blood within the tent and undeterminable wounds on her neck all brought investigators to a very different conclusion Azaria Chamberlain might have died as a result of her throat being cut once the news caught wind of little Azaria's untimely death and her parents seemingly outlandish story the press turned against the grieving parents public and media attention on the situation polarized the entire nation and even brought up some disquieting rumors about what really might have happened fanciful rumors sickening jokes including cartoons seemed to surround the tragedy there was a great deal of antagonism directed against Lindy in particular who many agreed did not behave as a grieving mother ought to have as the authorities began to build the case against the Chamberlains the wild theories began to fly about the papers made a great deal about the Chamberlains seventh-day Adventist religion which was unusual in their area and only made them appear more like outsiders there were theories that the church was actually a cult that sacrificed infants as part of some bizarre religious practice it also seemed odd that a family would take a newborn baby into the desert some people claim that Lindy was a witch and the police even got one anonymous tip that the name Azaria meant sacrifice in the wilderness it means God helped but that's neither here nor there in any case the damage was done the police had more than enough to bring both the Chamberlains to court the police alleged that Lindy Chamberlain had cut Azaria's throat in the front seat of the family car before hiding the baby's body in a large camera case only once she'd made it back to the campsite and run into other campers did she finally set up the crime scene so as to make it appear that a dingo had broken into the tent and snatched the baby it was alleged that once the couple and the other campers had gone to look for the baby she surreptitiously disposed of the body knowing that a dingo would undoubtedly come and scavenge for it the case was the most publicized trial in Australian history what's more Lindy and her husband were looking more and more guilty day by day when Lindy Chamberlain was questioned about Azaria's clothes that day she mentioned a small jacket over the jumpsuit the jacket was not found with Azaria's body which of course led the jury to believe that she was lying not only that but the baby's singlet was also on backwards she swore that she'd been rushed hadn't realized it was on wrong but it was too late the defense's case was ultimately rejected by the jury on October 29 1982 Lindy Chamberlain was convicted of murder and sentenced to life imprisonment 
her husband Michael was also found guilty as an accessory after the fact and was given a much less severe 18 month suspended sentence nevertheless the story wasn't over yet in 1986 an English tourist named David Brett fell to his death while visiting Ayers Rock eight days later police found his remains lying below where he had fallen amidst a whole host of dingo lairs as they scooped up his remains police discovered something peculiar a torn infant's jacket the clothing was the missing piece of evidence that the defense needed it rejected two key points of the prosecution's case and of indicated biased and invalid assumptions made during the initial trial the case was brought before a new judge who deliberated for nearly two years on the validity of the initial findings and verdicts on September 15th 1988 Lindy and Michael Chamberlain's convictions were appealed a unanimous vote by the Northern Territory Court of Criminal Appeals had proven what they'd been saying all along they were not responsible for their daughter's death the Chamberlains had suffered unduly for years not just in the court proceedings and in prison but also in public many of their friends neighbors fellow Australians even the world as a whole still believed them to be murderers and liars then two years after they were exonerated the Chamberlains were awarded 1.3 million dollars in compensation for wrongful imprisonment it wasn't much however and only covered a third of their legal expenses in 2012 which was about 32 years after Azaria's death the Chamberlain's versions of events was officially confirmed a coroner re-examined the details of the case and compared it to the newfound information on the brazen behavior of modern dingoes Azaria's death was in fact the result of a rare and unexpected dingo attack since the story broke in the fall of 1980 Numerous books have been written about the case. It's been made into a TV movie, a feature film, a miniseries, a play, an opera, and a concept album. It's also been referenced in pop culture many times over the years, most notably by the Elaine character on the sitcom Seinfeld.